Yay! Yeah. Okay, should I start? Has anyone heard of the term Generation Me? Well, I'm sure that it incorporates a lot of people in the classroom right now. It's anyone who was born in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. And there's been some good things and bad things with Generation Me, in which I, my part, have been able to uh, um, experience that myself. And today, uh, uh, something associated with Generation Me I'd like to talk to you about today is narcissism, in which narcissism is an exact, is a over exaggeration of yourself and life concern for other people. And today I'd like to talk to you about it in a, ca in a uh, problem, cause, and solution format, starting with how it's a cause, and, and the, the causes and the solutions for it, and talking about how um, the, the effects of it from the media, from the, or the, the causes of it from the media, the forms of communication, and from Generation Me itself, and also propose why it should be solved and how it can be. And so I'd like to start off with, um, um, but, so let's begin with how, what the problems are with narcissism. The U.S. News and World Report magazine, the article, It's All About Me by Elizabeth Weiss, that interviewed Dr. Jean Tregage, um, author of Generation Me, said narcissism's, narcissists favor short-term relationships, and in terms of self-esteem, there is missing pieces with people and relationships and says that they have unrealistically high expectations and that if they are not met, they will, um, they will be disappointed and have high anxiety and, dep and depression. And um, in another article, are you, going, are you suffering from empathy deficient disorder by Dr. Douglas LeBeer on psychologyday.com, he says a lack of empathy, in which a lack of empathy is a lack of concern for others, or as a, a concern for others, he says that you lose touch with reality. And in, and in the article, The End of Empathy, by Dr. Sarah Conrath on psychologyday.com, it says if recent trends continue, this could, this could turn into broader social uh, or societal problems. And in terms of increase, the article goes on further to say that empathy still in, uh, decreases substantially it is, and is at a faster rate in recent years. And in, uh, in is Generation Me Less Empathetic by Ray Williams on psychologyoday.com, university students compared 13,737 college students to, to those from the late, from, to those of counterparts in the late 1970s. Mm. And uh, currently, 40% of those college students had a low, thing, a low empathy, showed having lower empathy than the others. And um, now I'd like to talk about why um, now I'd like to talk about why the, it's a problem, and, and uh, we talked about why it's a problem, and now I'd like to talk about the cause. And, uh, and I'm going to talk about it in three ways, the media, uh, forms of our communication, and, um, and, and, and generation me. In terms of, of media, the normal narcissism of a reality TV show, or the reality TV by Dr. Jean M. Twiggage on, on um, psychology.com, which is an article, it said that Mark Young and Drew Pinsky from the Journal of Research and Personality found um, that re the uh, reality TV show celebrities scored higher than their counterpart, than the, than their, the, 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 stu the counter study that they were associated with. And, um, uh, and they did that according to the personality, the narcissistic personality inventory. And Twig also claimed that real TV stars influence the way young people act. Um, examples of this are Real Housewives of Orange County, Bridezillas, and um, an American Chopper, and commercials like L'Oreal that says, because you're worth it, and Old Spice commercials that say, um, uh, uh, don't you wish you were me, and mm -hmm. imply don't you wish you were me, and t-shirts that say, it's all about me, and provocative sweatpants that say, w wouldn't you like to date me? <laughs> And, um, and that's in terms of the media. In terms of um, forms of communication, study Facebook users connects narcissism and low self-esteem by John Tucker on scientificamerican.com said, said that psychology researcher Sora Tsai Mendes a, uh, did a study that said, uh, that said uh, 100 college students, that over 100 college students and, and tested them for narcissism, personality, inventory, and came to the conclusion that the, that 
the more narcissists that, that more narcissists spend more than one hour per per one spend one hour uh, on Facebook and uh, more than one hour on Facebook and it's been, and those users that spend ex uh, extensive time on Facebook might even end up end up becoming narcissists. And in, in the article, Keep Your Thumbs Up Still While I'm Talking to You by David Carr on NewYorkTimes.com, Carr went into the went to a digital conference in Australia, Texas, and noted Anthony DeRosa, a product manager and programmer, that said our mobile connectedness is eroded fundamental courtesies. And in terms of our generation, it's all about me, as the article mentioned earlier. Twig said the one reason for an increase in, in, in narcissistic tendency, tendencies is the, the rise of individualism and the great uh, love of self. And now we're going to talk about the causes and, uh, and why social, and, why, and, and uh, talk about the causes. We've talked about the causes, now let's talk about why social, um, how social can be a problem and how it can be solved. And uh, problem in the book, The Kindness of, uh, the Book of Kindness by um, Pai Ra for Rissi said that, and the Dalai Lama said in the preface, "I believe if we think it is, I believe it is clear that our survival today depends on acts of kindness of many people, right at the moment from our birth, under care of our parents, under the care of our parents, later on, we're under the care of our parents, and later on we're suffering from disease and old age, and we're just dependent on the kindness of others, through kindness, thus affection, how truth, uh, justice." Honesty towards everyone is for our own benefit. It's a matter of common sense. Society suffers; we suffer. We cannot avoid um, uh, avoid that kind of the kindness and compassion. It's necessary as a result of our feelings of fear, self-doubt, and insecurity are, are automatically dispelled. At the same time, other people find it easier to trust <coughs> us. There is also an increase in evidence that that cultivated um, cultivates mental. Um, stability, like um, kindness, compassion, that leads to better, better, better psychology and better health and happiness. In the book, *The Power of Giving*, Jamal and Harvey McCann, or M M McKinney, says that a a normal empathetic lifestyle helps to build relationships, um, security, job, better health, and a sense of, um, of of completion and happiness. And and how can we do it? Well, according to suffering from empathy de deficit disorder mentioned earlier, liver study says that we can learn to reprogram our brain, brain and, and what we feel and what we think is what we become. You grow, you grow in a specific emotion, create uh, to new, create new brain patterns to reform them. If this is true, and it can change the way a person can retrain their brain. The book, The um, Practice of Living Kindness by Vincent R Rigario, Says that he says that the ways we practice kindness and spare kindness of others can help um, um, can uh, disagree or without disagree to disagree without disagreeing look for good in others and the value of a cheerful demeanor. In conclusion, we talked about narcissism and how it's related to society and um, and our relationships, the cause of, of media and television and commercials. And we talked about the communications with Facebook and cell phones and Generation Me, and why social and why social problems in terms of dependency benefits um, benefits our health and society and health and for uh, for people, and talked about how the brain can train to be more empathetic. Those who know this should should take responsibility for it, and it's our responsibility to introduce this to our culture and to our society so we can get rid of this cancer called narcissism. Thank you very much. Collapse. <laughs> you did good. All right, ten.